Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play another round of Super Bases Loaded, where we finally played ourselves a perfect game, but we did not do it against the perfect team. Therefore, we must play again. Against, I don't remember who we're playing, but that's going to be, it's going to be something. That's all I can say. Because I'm going to be in, I think, I want to say that it's the, uh, what the hell do they call them? The fucking, it's, it's, is it the U team? Or is it, oh, dude, it might be Seattle. I hope not. Seattle's fucking good. <laughs> that's, that's not what I want to have to deal with right now. Who is it? Oh, it's the L team, okay. They're, they're pretty good. They're, they're not the team that I was really worrying about. The team that I was worrying about was the Seattle Storm, if that's what it was. Those guys are fucking good. But the Lizards are also pretty good. We gotta watch out for a couple different players on that team. But the pitching, if I remember correctly, isn't quite as good as what we just dealt with previously. So, I don't think we're gonna be as much... We can certainly pull off the perfect game here. If I, if I play my cards right, it shouldn't be too much of a task. As long as I don't fucking strike out in stupid situations. Which is certainly something that I could do. I've done it before. Yeah! God damn it. Watch, it'll happen right here in the first inning. Oh god. Oof. It's close. By the way, nothing makes me happy. Well, there's a lot of things that make me happier than that. But I really love watching the Pacers lose. It's a great thing to me. I I just I really don't like those guys at all. I think they're just a bunch of bitches all whining and complaining about everything that goes on. It's like, well, you know, maybe you shouldn't throw your coach under the bus, because he's definitely a pretty good coach. You guys are just a bunch of whiny bitches, so get over yourselves whenever you're ready. So, I really want them to lose in this series to the Hawks, because that would be fucking hilarious. They've been saying the whole season about, oh, well, you know, the Pacers are the fucking best team in the history of the world, and they are gonna give... They're gonna give... Miami, all they can handle when it comes time to blah, 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 but if they can't even get past uh, Atlanta, then I am going to laugh. Mm. Nothing like a good old sippity-sippity of some root beer. I'm telling you, man, there's just there's not, a lot of, not a lot of better things in this world than a nice cold can of A&W root beer. Even better if you actually get it off a tap at an actual A&W. But there's not a lot of those around, but man, that shit is good. It's actually like one of the few soft drinks that I actually find quenching. Like, it's a lot of like, when I when I drink like a Pepsi or a Coca-Cola. Actually, no, because th those actually have a pretty refreshing feel to it. But they still leave me thirsty later. Like, I'll, I'll drink one of those and I just, I don't feel like I drank anything. Obviously, a lot of that due to how much sodium is in all of those, but I'll drink... A, uh, I'll drink a root beer and it just like feels good. Or I'll drink like a, uh, I'll drink like a Seven Up or a Sprite or a Sierra Mist since they're all the same fucking thing, and it just it just feels good, you know. You feel you feel quenched for a couple of minutes before you have to take another one. I think it's because they feel crisp. Oh come on, come on! That thing was on the it was on the plate. It was on the plate. You little dick. I mean, that guy must have been working on his on his golf swing because that thing was down there. All right, well, obviously they are here to tell me that they're not rolling over as quickly as I as I thought they would. Gents, huh? That is gonna be foul. Never mind. <laughs> Just one of the easiest outs ever. Baca, oh man, or Bacha. I actually I knew a girl whose last name is spelled that way, and she pronounced it Bacha. Which, I don't know, I feel like you could say it any, any, any way in the world out there. I mean, they call them Boca Burgers, and that's just fucking an O instead of an A, so I'm gonna say it's the same damn pronunciation. Da -da. Woo! Boy, that thing would have been a frozen rope. Which, uh, why of all things would you use that for an analogy of something that's straight? Like, why a frozen rope? Why not just, like, a bar of, like, a, a rigid bar of steel or something? Just the, the whole frozen rope thing sounds really weird to me. But that's baseball announcers for you. They just, they come up with this weird shit all the time. Yeah! Woo! Come on! Get out of here! God, I want this to be a home run so bad for the sake of that guy, but it's gonna be off the fence. Come on. 
Come on. You can get the triple, man. Yeah. All right. Well done, senor. Comes in with a triple, but it probably won't mean anything because he's going to totally get out. <laughs> I hope so. No, not to the getting out part. I just hope that he can get there. Can he do it? No. No. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Damn it. I should have actually just not sent that guy. Because I think that had I not sent that guy, the guy going to first would have probably made it. Eh, what do you do? All I'm hoping in this episode is that I don't get a stupid-ass um, Java update screen that pops up in the middle of this. That's what made the whole thing go away last time. And uh, it threw me off. And it's weird because um, my... Oh, come on. Because my recording software said that it was still recording and so um, when it minimized at random uh, the second time where I said that it, it only skipped the part where um, where I uh, the guy popped out to the first basement or whatever like that's all that it really told me it did so I don't know it was just weird it's like a little lapse or something so, yeah, that's my answer to that guy that just hit a home run a minute ago. If that can make it out, which it will. Um, I, every time I see the little logo for my team, the Washington Weasels, the mascot always totally looks like a bear. I, like, I think I just now, for the first time, made the realization that it actually is a weasel. I just thought the whole time they called it the Weasels, but it looked like a bear. I'll show you what I'm talking about when the inning's over. It's kind of weird. I don't know if there's actually, like, varying speeds for base runners. I think they all have the same speed, which is kind of weird. You would think, especially if you got a black guy on your team, he's probably going to be faster than your average white guy on said team. Not saying there's not fast white dudes out there. Because there are plenty. But, man, I yacked that thing. Look at that. That's, that actually... Yeah. I'm not going to run the risk there. That's going to be a double play. <laughs> oh. Why did you do it that way? He could have totally just thrown to the second baseman. God, these guys are idiots sometimes. I mean, they have the highest AI out of people in this game, but that was a very questionable decision right there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Damn it. I'm so paranoid about striking out, because I really don't want to have to play another game. That should have been a strikeout. I did not hit that at all. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm talking about with that little logo thing. See, I thought it was a bear. The way they have it, it kind of looks like a bear. But then I realized that his head's pointing, like, northwest. And so then it doesn't look like a bear anymore. It actually does look like a weasel. And so for all these years, I felt like a total jackass. Oh, damn it. A little infield single, huh? Chris Berman. Totally jacked off a home run on me last time. Damn it. This isn't good. This is, this is much less than good, actually. However, I could pull a triple play, but I won't. I will much rather just take the regular double play. That is, a, that is a much more attractive thing, just so long as that other guy doesn't try to go. There we go. All right. Yeah, I know how to be. I know how to be productive in those situations. I was an infielder when I played in the league. I actually played uh, when I played in Little League and, you know, majors and all that shit in high school. I played every single position in the... Actually, I played every single position in baseball at least once. Catcher was never my thing, though. Um, but I was an all-star. Wow! <laughs> I don't know how he hit... I don't know how people can hit the ball that far with the ball being that far off the ground. And that not far off the ground, I mean. But I was an all-star first baseman when I was nine. Uh, I played second base when I was ten. 
I played a little bit of third base and shortstop, but primarily shortstop when I was 11. I actually, uh, the thing that kept me away from playing third base when I was little was, I was, uh, I was playing there one game, and they call it hot corner for a reason, and I wasn't paying full attention, but this kid just nailed one. If, now I can actually use that reference. He hit a frozen rope off the bat to the third baseman, which was me, and it was like right to the side of me, and I put my arm, I put my hand up, and it straight up took my glo- Wow! Can he hit another one? Or actually, he didn't hit one yet, but that very well might be gone. It is gone by a pixel! Uh, he hits it, and the thing just took my glove straight off. Like, the ball stayed in there, and it fell on the ground, and because I didn't have possession of it, they didn't call it an out, so I picked up my glove instead of picking up the ball. I picked up my glove, and I threw it to the first baseman, and he caught my glove, and it was an out. It was totally awesome. I could have just taken the ball out. That would have been a much smarter idea, but that would have taken all the fun out of it. So, yeah, dude, it was, it was pretty wild, but that definitely made me never want to play third after that, because if my reaction time wasn't any faster, I would have totally gotten hit right in the face. Because I, I had to do like this quick sidestep looking thing. So it was it was uh, it was interesting. It really was, but I was really good at shortstop, but my my heart's in the outfield though. That's that's where I that's where I get my shit done, because now I, I there I get to actually use my speed. Because that's I mean, that's what I hang my hat on. Speed and my ability to gauge pop flies, just like that one that he totally, totally yacked that thing. Oh my god. Now, I never really mentioned this, but with the edit team, um, which I, I may do like a little bonus episode after this whole thing is over, when, if I can get the perfect game, where I'll exhibit kind of some of their skills and whatever, but... The way that those guys can hit is just insane. Like, it's not even fair. You can hit home runs that will go, like, all the way to, the, like, the, the limits of the screen. Like, that's how far they'll hit it. And it's so cool to look at. Because they just totally obliterate it. It's crazy. So I'll show you when we when we get the opportunity. But for now, we gotta, we gotta roll with this. We're actually approaching the 10-run rule. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Could have actually... No, I would have still gotten thrown out, let's be honest with ourselves here. They're fast, but they're not that fast. Yeah! Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm sending you home. Yes! Whoa, no. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Go to third. Yeah! All right. That's what I'm talking about. Way to exhibit your base running skills. Man, they just brought that guy in this inning, didn't they? It's either this inning or last inning. I feel bad for him. That would always be something that I would hate to have happen. Like, you be the, the relief pitcher to come in, and you're supposed to be the guy to kind of take over for a while. And the first thing you do is you get taken out within one inning of, of being used. It's just like, well, that experiment totally died. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, sh... No! No! Ah! Damn it! He was obstructing the base path, you jackass! That would, if that were in real baseball, that guy, they actually probably would have awarded me the base, I think, because if you obstruct the base path, they award you a base. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows? I'm shooting for that 10 run rule, man. That's one thing that I don't think that we achieved at any point in this game, and I really want to have it happen, because that will more or less cement the perfect game in my eyes totally abusing the other team. It's pretty much what we're looking at right now, so far. And we've had the same pitcher the whole time. I mean, Finn has really... He has really been doing it. Finn the Human is coming up strong today. Hey, we got it! Awesome! We didn't even 10-run them, even! <laughs> they just cowered like bitches. They couldn't even handle it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. What just happened? Oh, I hit the rewind button on accident. Son of a bitch. So stupid. Watch, he hits a home run. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> okay, I need to not do that this time. I My hands are off the controller, so I don't do that again. 
We won twice the same way! Alright! Did we get it? There is nothing in my mind that would make me think that we didn't. I mean, we didn't have any errors, we didn't strike out, we didn't do anything wrong. So, give me that thing! hey -o! We did it! We are the victors of Baseball Land! Congratulations in rainbow text! I actually really wish that I could write in cursive really well like that. Bum, bum. This actually makes me really happy because if I had to play another game, which would have, I think, been... It would have been against the Seattle team. I would have been upset because they're really good. And they have a pitcher that we never saw their style in this game. But it just drives me nuts. Uh, I'll actually, I'll do, now that this is all done, I'll do a bonus episode that utilizes the uh, the edit team. And uh, one of their pitchers has that style that, we, that you guys haven't seen yet. And apparently Ian Dot said that he hopes that we had fun playing this game, which I really did. I actually, I had a blast with this game. I always have a good time when I play this. That is a really small kid playing on the beach in full uniform, apparently. That's weird. Since you got this far, you must be a better ball player than I am. You're probably right, because you're designing this game instead of being out there playing it. <laughs> I kind of miss Little League, where you got to wear, like, the mesh trucker hats that were way too big for you. And having, like, the, the sponsors for, like, the construction yards and, like, the t-shirt the places and, uh, like, oil can Henry's. I actually played for, uh, I played for the fire department one year. And then I played for, like, a towing company one year, too. I love baseball so much that I named my newborn son after my favorite player. But who? That's the better question. I'd be interesting to know. I'd be interested to know who he did that with. Considering that he's probably Japanese, I don't know who that could have been. But then again, maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody at Jaleco is Japanese or Asian, because obviously they have pretty good translation for English here, so who knows? Maybe... Maybe uh, Ryan Sandberg, possibly? It's the man that endorsed the game. Okay, so is there anything else here? Anything else? It appears that we're going to have one of those never-ending screens right here, so... Yep, alright, my friends. Well, we are stuck on the never-ending Jaleco screen saying that we beat the game, so... When we come back on the bonus episode of Let's Play Super Bases Loaded, I'm going to show you a little bit about how the edit team works. So until then, I thank you guys for watching this series. It's been a real pleasure, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So take care, everybody. Bye.